Hello everyone! Today I'll be introducing you to how to create animation using iPad. Like the cute squirrel movie on the screen, I will teach you how to design animation by illustrating a flipbook. There are actually many apps on iPad that let you create animation, including ones for advanced users and ones for beginners. For today's video, I decided to use an app for beginners. The app I'm introducing today is called Flip Clip Animation. It's free of charge and anyone can access to it, so please try it out if you're interested after watching this video. What I like about this app is that the UI is straightforward and easy to use. Animation design apps like this one are typically very complicated to use, but this one is straightforward so anyone can start using this without any troubles. Today we'll be designing the Saturn. We'll also be adding animation of an asteroid moving around the planet. It may look a little bit hard, but trust me, it's very straightforward, so let's try it out together. Let's launch the Flip Clip app. We'll begin by clicking the plus button located at the bottom right corner of the screen. Here we can decide a project name, background color, canvas size, as well as the frame rate. For now, we will set the project name as Amity Sensei. The background color as white, and the size will be 1280 x 720 pixels. Lastly, the frame rate decides the number of frames to be inserted into animation per second. The higher the number, the smoother the animation will be. In contrast, if we set a lower number, for instance 1, this means that there will only be one piece of frame presented per second, creating a very lumpy flow. The default is 12, so we will begin with this. After launching the canvas, there is a toolbar on the left side. There, you can find functions such as brush, eraser, lasso tool, fill in, and text. There are only 5 functions, so it's very simple. In regards to brush, there are 4 types, pencil, brush, ink pen, and marker. If you look at the bottom of the screen, you can see rectangle frames and a plus button. This is where you can find each frame or slide of flipbook animation. You can add more frames by clicking the plus button, delete by clicking the trash button, or even duplicate a frame if you want. There is also a layer function installed in this app. For those who use illustration apps frequently, you may already know, but adding multiple layers for animation will let you create a more intricate design. Okay, now let's begin drawing. I will show you demonstration first, so please have a look. With a red pen, I will draw a circle at the bottom of the screen. Then click the plus button to launch a new frame. By doing so, the design or the red circle I drew on the previous frame will appear translucently. You can add design on your new frame by shifting its position a little bit to the right. Then we can move on to the third frame and draw a new circle again. Just like this, we'll repeat the same process by adding a new frame and shifting the position of the circle each time from its previous frame. Right now, I'm trying to create animation where this red circle moves to create an orbit. It's just like drawing a flipbook, so it will be a repetitive process that requires patience. But hang in there, because once it's completed, your animation will look really pretty.
you can see all the frames that you've drawn by swiping to the left like this. And you can also check the frame number at the top right corner. By clicking on the play button located on the right side of the screen, your flipbook animation will be played on repeat. We can create such cute animation with just a quick drawing. Isn't this really cool? Now we will add another layer to have two circles moving at the same time. Let's first click the layer panel and add another layer. Make sure that you are now drawing on layer 2 and add another circle on each frame you already created but on a different layer, perhaps with yellow. I will be repeating the same process of each frame like this. This is what the animation looks like when it's complete. It actually didn't turn out exactly as I thought. It kind of looks like a moving caterpillar. Anyway, by adding another layer on each frame, we can create animation that shows two different objects moving on the same clip. So please remember this. Let's finally start creating animation of the satin I showed you earlier. First, I will design the planet with purple. After finishing the rough draft, I will move on to the next frame. What we are doing differently from the previous animation is that we'll be using the exact same drawing on the next frame by pasting the picture. To copy and paste this design, long press the frame tool at the bottom of the screen and click the third icon from the right. To paste, click the icon at the very right. As you can see, the second frame appears with the exact same design as the first one. Then, I'll add another layer on the second frame to start drawing the asteroid. Let's use emerald green. I want the asteroid to move diagonally from top right to bottom left. Before drawing, try to imagine the orbit of your moving object before getting started with the design. When that's done, add another frame, this time by just pasting the frame copy in the previous step. I'll shift the position of the asteroid now to its extended track. When that's finished, move on to the fourth slide and repeat the same procedure. Now on to the fifth slide. Let's copy and paste again. On this slide, I will draw the asteroid to change its course of direction by making a sharp angle. As you proceed, you can drag the frame tool at the bottom to check what the general movement of your animation will be like. 
so make sure to check here once in a while. As a tip, try drawing the asteroid a little bit bigger when it's located on the front of the planet to induce a perspective effect. It'll look more realistic. In contrast, make it smaller when the asteroid is moving away from the front side. Now that I've finished drawing the orbit of the asteroid, add two final frames with just a certain planet because the asteroid will not be visible when it's moving behind the planet. For those who want to add more or have more time, you can decide to add a small dot-like shape like this on each frame. It will create a more fun and expressive animation. Let's click the play button to see how it turned out. Adding a small final step to draw the small dots is quite useful, so try working on the tiny details as well to make the animation prettier. Finally, if you want to add any background music to the animation, there is a tool for that too. You can either add your own music from your iPad or choose any music from the audio library on the app. To save the completed animation, click the button at the right hand corner, then select create a movie. Choose the file size and format. If you choose MP4 to create a movie file, the video will only play the animation in one loop. I recommend saving it as a GIF animation instead, so that the downloaded video will play the animation you created on the loop repeatedly. Like this, you can look at your animation over and over. This wraps up today's tutorial. I hope many of you are more interested in creating animation. It's very straightforward, so please try it out. In my iPad Make community, I'll be introducing animation design process that's a little bit more challenging. I'll be drawing other designs as well, so if you want to improve your iPad skills, please check it out. The link can be found in the description box of this video. I also have a seminar coming up for iPad Mate members in Tokyo this weekend on December 7th, Saturday. And this will be the very first seminar, so please join us if you're interested. I know that some members of iPad Make community are currently outside of Tokyo or even overseas, so I'm planning on doing live streaming as well. It'll be through Facebook, so please make yourself available on December 7th if you're interested. That's all for today. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Thank you for watching my video. See you in the next video. Bye bye.